already, I think the ninth week, tenth week, almost two thirds of the semester mm -hmm. is gone. The next week is the last week of the October. Then we have one more month, but uh, you know the, we have Thanksgiving holiday, so we have pretty much three, five more weeks, right? And I think the, our the progress is a little bit ahead of our schedule because we missed the midterm exam. So as I announced, uh, we are going to have the one exam, including the midterm and final. So that will be the last week of the semester, not the, during the uh, final exam week. Okay. So if you have any other plan or uh, something, so you don't have to worry about the final exam week. Only for this class, you need to check that the other class. But uh, but maybe slightly changing the schedule depending on the how we present the our the project. Okay. Another thing is, I'm going to forward the email. So if you have uh, any plan, continue your the research on the NoSQL database. So because the one semester definitely is not uh, long enough to do the full the, the research on the uh, topic you are selected database. So I strongly suggest to you guys, if you're interested in the NoSQL or the, uh, the database related the research, uh, April, I think the 10th or sometimes April, so you will be actually participate in the uh, ASE, ASEE Regional Conference, ASEE stands for the American Society of Engineering Education, something like that. So I think the, some of you guys already did in the last year. Uh, this year, next year, it will be the UB Buffalo, which is also UB. If you search the, any UB as a acronym, Usually it's the uh, University of Buffalo or something like that. Anyway, it's uh, also the part of the ASE, the Northeast Regional the area, regional chapter. So it's a nice, uh, beautiful place in the Niagara Falls. So you may have a chance to the, visit the Niagara Falls. So I strongly suggest you guys to continue uh, your the, uh, the research on the NoSQL database at that time. So you should uh, add have the additional contribution, not only just the implementation, like the benchmarking testing or the converting existing relational database to the NoSQL database or the something other the effort on the database design or the something application part because it's uh, not very well on the approach in the database system. And uh, I think that you probably uh, the, the contribute on the such a uh, the research opportunity. But to do that, if you are interested in to continue your research, uh, abstract due is uh, December 10th, like that. The, the, I'm going to forward the call for participation and the research on the ASE regional conference. So please consider uh, not just the, this one, this is the, uh, the research level, so you guys can probably UB. Uh, support any the transportation or the registration if you are abstract is selected at the time please let me know I can uh, help for your the uh, mostly the previous semester the one or two uh, students continue their the project and uh, uh, submit the paper to the conference or the uh, the ASC conference, so it will be a good opportunity for you guys. Then, uh, before we start uh, today's the lecture regarding to the HBase schema, so uh, HBase, the database model, so I'd like to introduce the, another key value database which is very popular, uh, which is DynamoDB. So, first start with a short video clip. Are coming in, but can your database scale to handle all the requests? Amazon DynamoDB. It was built to handle internet scale applications at Amazon because traditional databases just weren't built to handle Amazon Prime Day's millions of requests per second. It's a fully managed service, so you don't have to worry about patching and upgrading your databases to the latest version. This means you can sleep in peace without being paged in the middle of the night. Not only are encryption and data recovery built in, but DynamoDB has an industry-leading service level agreement. DynamoDB handles more than one trillion requests per day, 
and more than 100,000 AWS customers use DynamoDB. Get started today with DynamoDB, the hyperscale database for modern apps that need performance at any scale. So what is the most popular clouding service nowadays? AWS. So I surprised that several years ago the to think about I learned the cloud, the cloud the computing, cloud something, and from the class and the paper and the something like that. But it was not popular in the industry. Then the suddenly the Amazon the announced their the such a the clouding service right now is the leading. So way above really. Well, who is the second who follow the AWS in cloud service? The GCP that I introduced, but it's way below, actually. But AWS is really leading the company. So then, the, I believe, so, and I read the article, the reason why the Amazon started such a clouding service is from to support their own business first. So Amazon is actually the it's an online shop, right? So they do not produce a really manufacturer, whether they just is online shopping, but then they realize they have more and more customer and the seller, they have their own strategy and even logistic, their own logistic, then they buy the more and more, then they have huge transaction. They have a huge amount of data to uh, the manage. Then, the threat, as we have seen before, the uh, beginning of this semester, the, one of the main reasons of the NoSQL database is the volume of data. It's from the big data, they encounter the same problem. So as we have seen a lot, the Google encounter the same problem, Facebook uh, the, meet the same problem, and uh, Yahoo had the same problem. Because of that, they developed their own data structure, their own storage. Like the, Sandra from the Facebook or the Google, the big table, and the Google also support uh, the develop the Hadoop and the map in this program that uh, eventually is uh, uh, in the Apache Foundation the project. But uh, Amazon has the same issues to deal with the uh, huge number of transactions that they think about. Uh, anyway, they need to manage the, such a uh, transaction history, log data, and customer information in the database. The, but uh, they realize that the uh, relational data is coming through. Any other ways so they think about the NoSQL database? The, that is the DynamoDB. So DynamoDB, DynamoDB is, uh, uh, we have learned about the four different categories of the uh, NoSQL database, key value, and the document, graph, and the column based, right? So this is the one of key value database, then because they have the, a lot of huge number of transactions a uh, uh, second a minute, then the, and also it should be fast too when the user search, okay? Like the Google search, there are not much difference between the Google search and Amazon search because Amazon has a huge number of the, such items. Among them, the, if I search the uh, computer, laptop, or specific, and also they considering the suggested recommendation system. Actually, Amazon is one of the well-known recommendation system uh, with what? Netflix. Netflix had uh, uh, had the similar the functionality. So anyone who are using the Netflix, so first time when you use the, when you create the account, what happened? They show many the poster of the, whether do you like the, this, the movie, or this one, or this one, the, if you click something, the similar one, uh, like that. Why? Because the, they do not have your history, so they like to know what, uh, the, what is your favorite movie or the contents, then the, based on that, the, uh, the survey, they like to suggest, recommend. After that, the, while you are watching the more and more movies, they know the, what kind of movie you like. But similarly, very similar, this is not, not a class the, to uh, discuss about the, such a data analytics, so which is called the recommendation system. But the Amazon had the same thing. So people are uh, still the surprise in my wife was still asking me, so why the, I the searched the yesterday the clothes <coughs> and the today shows the very similar or the, even sometimes even though you 
uh, do not directly the search the search item, but uh, they know what I'm thinking. Actually, the, you expose your the intention different way, like the email. We are not sure whether the Amazon uh, catch the email information, but uh, definitely cookie information and the web browser inf information, such information, whether or not you realize it's sent to the Amazon or the Google, then they use it. But uh, this is not a class to, to discuss about this nowadays. Even though we are talking about the nowadays in the classroom, the big data, or the machine learning, and the so on, actually, the recently, who is the most popular the professor in the deep learning? Anyone? Who is the most popular one? Have you ever heard about the Professor Andrew Ng? The, he's uh, the professor in Stanford, one of the most famous. Uh, with uh, another the famous professor in the uh, same university, it's a Fei Fei Li. The, she is another, the especially conventional, the conventional neural network. So last year, the Andrew Hume the mentioned about this. Please do not research on the deep learning more. Do not publish the paper. Why? There are a bunch of different names of the CNN or the GAN and the everything slightly change and the modify and the they publish the paper and it looks like the good, but uh, does it have our real life? Not yet. It's in the paper only. So it's a time to talk about the real application, whether such as the deep learning or the something, the machine learning, AI, whether that can really help our life or not. So it's a time to think about the real application. So it is true, the academia and the uh, industry, there, are, there is a gap. The, sometimes in computer science, the gap is narrower than the other the area. Other area, sometimes the, if you think about the Nobel Prize, the Nobel Prize on economy or the other, they actually select the, no, the, the award, the Nobel Prize, the professor who did the 10, 20 years ago, okay? Which means uh, they proposed that idea in economy or the chemistry, but uh, right now we are using such a technique in our life. But computer is a little bit the shorter than the, uh, such a engineering or science. But still we have a gap between the academia and industry. Usually it's a four to five years. Nowadays getting sh the shorter, but the still is a three to five years gap, which means if we are researching on the uh, new NoSQL database, for example, or the uh, ACI the approach, it, like the new SQL, maybe the three or four years later it will be used. May not. Not all of them are used in the uh, real the industry. Well, it's a three to five years. So it's a time to think about the such a thing. But the sum of the technique is uh, currently we use. For example, the recommendation system, it has been used a lot. It is one of the most popular, actually, the data analytics technique. It's much more the effective, much more popular than the deep learning. Okay? The recommendation system is mostly based on one. It's a Bayesian rule. So you probably learned the Bayesian rule or Bayesian approach, Bayesian theorem in your statistical course sometimes in high school, sometimes uh, co the college level. What is the idea of a Bayesian? One word, two words, conditional probability. It's nothing but the conditional. Inside it's much more uh, complicated, but uh, you can actually uh, learn the Bayesian the approach the, this much, the thousand pages from text. But two, if we summarize the Bayesian approach by two words is a conditional probability. If there's something in case when the, you have the, this the, uh, pool, what is a probability? So if we can use the, such a conditional probability, mostly statistical approach, without using very complicated the network or the deep learning, so actually we can the, pretty much guess the, whether you like the, this kind of movie. Or because the, your pattern favorite is very similar as him. Then the, he selected this movie, she may select this movie, also, like that. So this is the kind of the current what's going on. Then, 
Imagine you see such a the technique more practical. Then that is one of the success of the Imagine. Then the, they develop their own stru the data structure to keep the such huge amount of data. That is a dynamo DB. So dynamo DB in terms of architecture is the same as the other key value. Okay, not much different. It's nothing new. But what they focus on, I'm not sure whether you quote the so from the one minute video, what is the most important part of the Dynamo DB? Scalable. Scalable. And uh, scalable means uh, because uh, it is a partition. I'm going to introduce very briefly. The, it uses a partition based on the key. So we can actually scalable the, for the application when we search and when you store the data. The scalability is one of the big the reason, but for what? That's scalability for data. Data for what? Anything for what? It is the this one, SLA. So actually, service level agreement. SLA means the service level agreement. Like the, for example, when we carry <coughs> the data, guaranteed. Okay, there is uh, something guaranteed. The the service. That is agreement between. So I like the my system is not very critical. So this one time can be the one hour. Then the, I don't have to purchase what a select a very expensive, very fast, what very complicated algorithm. Instead, just the normal. That is your the agreement between the the company Amazon and the you as a customer. Then the, you can select. But my the system is the. The need require very fast response time. Okay, then the I need the 1.1 second response time for the trillion of data. At the time you can select such a thing. Actually, so such a service level agreement the SLA is is not technology. It has the technology. Yes, definitely to at the real time the scheduling and the other hardware and the, but this one is actually the I believe the main part of the DynamoDB, even though DynamoDB has a bunch of variety of scalability and indexing partitioning table and the, the local index, global index, and the, the replica of that, the but most important but is SLA. So today I'd like to the briefly introduce about the, if you missed the one minute video, actually you can Go to the uh, DynamoDB website, and there is the first page. So most, the, I have watched the same video several years. Every year they slightly change based on the, their, the, what is the main focus of the DynamoDB. So you can see, the, actually the several years ago they focused on the technology behind. So what is the t partition table and the, how they support the scalability, but they don't mention about the, such a thing a lot. Okay. Instead, the service level agreement to uh, the give the uh, the guarantee the service. So, uh, it's getting hard to see. So I'm going to very briefly introduce about the DynamoDB before we start the HBase. So both HBase and the DynamoDB are the based on the very similar architecture, but the different success. So this is the behind the idea of the uh, DynamoDB fully managed. So also for service purpose, okay? The user you don't have to worry about the how to back up, how to the manage. It's a fully managed by the cloud. Okay, and uh, it's a key value. But uh, we can also uh, use the document JSON file, JSON format, or the uh, if you know the Python is a dictionary, such a format uh, as a data. So, but this is based on the key value. It's a state. 
variability is most of the NoSQL database start from the, uh, the such a huge amount of data, but unstructured or semi-structured to address that problem. Are the big data, so it's uh, to address that one scalable. Okay? And fast and consistent, that is uh, the behind of the service level agreement. And then other things is management issue. Okay? Then the programming is uh, uh, for to use uh, such a dynamic DB. It's about the uh, event driven programming. First, the table. So, as we have seen before, the dynamic DB uses uh, schematics, which means so it doesn't have the, the fixed the schema, like the, for example, if we are talking about the, the customer, customer key, primary key, then the name, ID, no. So some of the item, this is a thing about item, okay? So Amazon has a bunch of item. The name is actually item. It's the same as a record, okay? In terms of relational database, it's the same as the tuple or the record, but the, your DynamDB is called the item. So item, some of them has one, two, three, four, five, the attribute. But this one has one. This one is three. So it's uh, no the fixed schema. It's a schema list, like the many other NoSQL databases. But it has uh, two keys. One is the partition key. Partition key is so think about the key value. When we talk about the key value, key is not primary key. It doesn't have to be the unique, not the unique, on like the, uh, the uh, relational database. It's a key. Key can be used for searching. But here, DynamoDB, partition key is used for the partition to de decide the location of the data. So think about the Amazon is distributed. The behind the DynamoDB distributed, we have the three partitions in different areas. So for the, uh, the this the uh, customer table, we'd like to separate the location by one. Using, here we are going to use a hash. So it's the partition key is based on the hash. It's just for divide partition purpose. That the which means it's not ordered, right? It's uh, based on the hash key. So for the search purpose or variety of the uh, query purpose, we can use additional key that is a sort key. So that sort key is kind of a secondary <coughs> key, very similar as the secondary key in the data relational database. So for the search, we can use sort key. However, this sort key within a partition, okay? So like the, for example, this is the uh, cu customer ID, and this is the birthday. So birthday ordered by birthday in this partition. But there, the customer are not sorted. It's only same hash key, okay? So they support it. So if we can the partition by the certain the area, then the, we can the, sometimes use the local. But the, this one, the if I search the for all the partition, they support additional storage, uh, the indexing structure that is the global index. So, so they have the two types of index. One is the so the uh, local <coughs> index, another one is a global index. So depending on your query type, mm -hmm. not always we need the global the index. It uh, takes a time. It's uh, the waste of resources. So but depending on the Query type, we can use either of them. So that there are two different types of key. One is this is a scalability purpose, scale partition. Then the, for the query application part, we can use a sort key. So this is the, I think that this is the something the, the master from the PPT file. Actually, it's divided by the one partition, two, two second partition, third partition. So First partition hash key is a 0 to bt4. Second partition is a bt5 through the a9. So third partition is a8 to ff. So then the using the, we are going to use the id for the partition key, which means the apply the hash function. So in case of just an example, 7b, 7b is here. So this data will store the item, will store the here, the second partition id2. The if we apply the two. This one is the hash value is a 48, 48 is the first partition, and so on, okay? 
then we can use the other attribute as a sort key. In within the same partition, the data, we can sort the data that can be used for the query. That is called the partition table. Then it can be scaled. So this is the, uh, the example of the partition with the, this is the same key, same hash key partition, uh, the second partition, third partition. Within, these customers are sorted by the order number. So we can use the order number by the uh, order number for the sort key. So, which means if we are using the uh, order number, we can do the range query or the something the equal query. So we can, most of the time, the, you are searching the order. You know, then the, we can keep the such order data, but partition the data. Customer or the item, so we can use the item number or the item type, then we can only search the certain specific item. So that is the idea of the table used in the, uh, the dynamic DB. Then it can be the, the replica. So same version, how many? One, two, three in this case. So you can see the number of partition, but the three replica. Three copies of the same data. So then the, we can the, keep the something uh, the, uh, reliable of the system. Okay. For the regarding to the index, two types of index, local index and the global index. The local index within the same partition, okay? So um, we can use uh, such as the, uh, the local key for the various query. Then the, for the global, so it continued all the partition there, okay? So, some of the key include uh, uh, the all the attribute, like the partition and sort key and the table key project and all that. So if you, today I'm going to introduce again the, the, the introduce the, uh, explain the more details of the, the H base, the schema design. If you remember when we search the value, specific value of H base last, Last time, we are going to start the row key and column family and the column name and timestamp and finally we have the value. So, the to find the specific value, we need to consider like the, all the attributes, like the here. But not always we can the, use the, all the, this, the data structure sometimes, the uh, specific partition for the specific key and the so on. Okay. For the scaling, they consider measure the scaling by the throughput. How many the uh, amount of the data will be processed? The throughput, and then they have the two the write capacity the unit the WCU and the read capacity unit the ICU means it can be the selected. If you need something, the because of the two support SLA, so if you have the, like the one kilobyte per second, if you wanna write one kilobyte of data within a second, so you need to select the, this option when you create the table in the Dynamo DB. Then you need to definitely pay more, okay? And this is uh, the read. Read is uh, definitely shorter than the writing. It's a four kilobyte per second. It's guaranteed. So you need to pay more if we want to such a certain level of the service. That is the idea of a service level agreement used in the dynamic. So you can select the two get the, the your the uh, target, the throughput, the, you can select the such an option as a service level, level agreement. So behind they are using both hardware, fast hardware as well as the algorithm, but we are not going to discuss details of the such an algorithm to the uh, support of the WCU and ICU, but it has. Actually, you can calculate the, what is the capacity and the size of that. The, in case you have, for example, table size, the 8 gigabyte, and ICU, the 5,000 WCU. The, so you can calculate the people you create the how much the performance you need, the, depending on the uh, your requirement. Then 
it can be partition uh, three or four, and uh, what is the size? There are recommendations. So finally, the, you can the, create uh, your own Dynamo database that uh, fit to your requirement. Okay. How can you create? If you go to the, if you have a chance to the, use the AWS, then it's just uh, the, from the web interface, click, 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 then the, you can create. It. Okay. So. I have used one time the AWS uh, instead of the G or GCP, but a couple of students and the, as well as me, the forget to delete the, the tested the database and the, the virtual machine. Then the, later, I didn't pay attention to, later, three months later, I realized that every month the 50 bucks, 30, 30 bucks, 30 dollars charge automatically. And a couple of students also complain the, after that. So I do not use the, this one. Instead, the, uh, with the Cooper code, the, I'm using the GCP. But the, uh, if you have a chance to use the, this, so you can try. Great. OK, then the, for the, it's called the throttling. throttling. So this is uh, kind of the evidence the how how can we partition? The problem of the partition is if data are skewed. Okay? So we have the three partition. Then the, this partition is very busy and uh, comparing to other. Then the, your overall performance will be slow. Ideally, we'd like to distribute not only data, but the, uh, the transaction, all of them. So, we usually, it's not the terminology used in the DynamoDB, we usually in the database, the, if the data is accessed a lot, read and write, that is a hot data, hot table. If your data is not much accessed, it's cold data. So, actually this is the level ledger, the red one means it's accessed very uh, frequently. It's a hot data and the blue one, it's a cold data, it's a, like the historical data. So do you retrieve the, your the 10 years before the transaction in your banking account? Probably not, it's a cold data. But the Facebook message, the yesterday Facebook message or Instagram, you frequently check. It's a hot data right now. So the red color, so we can see that this is a partition number. 0 to 16, we have the 16 different partition. We distribute the data along the 16. Then you can see the partition number 11 is the busiest one. And the other, especially 0 to the 7, they are not much, never been accessed. So it's a skewed in terms of the, uh, the transaction. So we need to distribute. So DynamoDB support automatically the not only just a scaling partition, but also the throat, which is called the throttling. So considering the workload. So ideally, it will be like the, this one. This is the ideal one. The uniformly distributed, the, you can see the blue or the, usually 80% it is saying that 80% of any kind of any types of database, 80% of them never been used. It's uh, for archiving. Only 10 to 20 percent of data are frequently accessed. So it's uh, even you think about your laptop, your the cell phone. Every 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 day that you uh, actually watch the, your the portal, probably not. So even you do not know. But uh, interestingly, nobody wants to delete or the backup the old portal that you took before. But uh, we keep. Mostly. So, as you can see the here, there is a, we can say the 60, 70% of data is blue. So, never been accessed. So, if we uniformly distribute overall, like that, it looks like the blue, which means overall performance, the workload is the good, but the, you can see the uh, system overload. It's not that that's high. So, this is uh, the supported by the throttling, is supported by the uh, DynamoDB. In terms of modeling, we will see the more the details in the H base. So, in case uh, the but idea of the uh, data modeling using the DynamoDB is based on the transaction type of cure. Okay, 
if you are curious is more focus on the like the uh, the older number, then you can use the older number for the secondary key, the third key. Okay, then the, you can the, create the, uh, the global key or the, you can use the local key based on that. So these are the something example considering the traditional database modeling. Then uh, for example. The one too many in case of one too many, so we can the keep the like the customer has the number of the transaction, number of order. Then one side is a customer, many side of the order. Then at the time, what will be the best idea to use the partition key? Order number or customer number? Order number? Customer number. Why? You we usually search the my own order. Have you ever searched the, your friend or the mixed? Probably not. So, custom one side is a partition key and the other can be. So, that's the idea of the. It's not only the, this, the DynamoDB, but DynamoDB is too misogynist. So, to use utilizing the sort key. So, if you research on your the NoSQL database, so it's not the. It's Sometimes they do not mention the explicitly the what's the database model and how you can model. So you need to get the idea, the characteristic of your NoSQL database that to try to use such a thing. For example, if they support the sort key like that, so you can use the based on your query, so you can use the sort key for the end side, mostly end side. Many to many will see the same problem in the H base also. And many to many. What is the main problem of the many to many? In between. Okay, Jun junction table. So, for example, we have, if you think about the very well known company database, we have employees and we have a project. Number of employees works for the specific project. But Number of one employee can work for the number of projects. It's a many to many. Then you keep track of number of hours for each employee for each project, which means we need to have such an in between table in case of many to many. So, in case of one to many, mostly we can use the, this one as a key, one side, and the, this one, end side, as the short key for query purpose. However, many to many, it depends. It can be M side, it can be N side, also it can be the between side. So that is your job to find. Okay? So sometimes the user ID can be the partition key, then the game ID will be sort key. If the query transaction access the number of game or game whatever per user. But it can be vice versa. So for the game, who will be the user of the, this the game? Then it's the opposite. Then if you are like the uh, the user to the number of user play the game, one user play the so where for example where <coughs> play the user like the I'm not expert is I do not know much about the online game nowadays, but uh, like the League of Legends the what else? Overwatch. So Overwatch. <coughs> this is sometimes you play the game as a team. So my son always uh, chat with uh, <laughs> he never met them. He even do not know where they are. <laughs> so they usually has uh, the group. So they get together and play the game. So we can keep the such a playing time <coughs> as the in between, like the number of hours. At that time, we can use the uh, different partition key and the sort key. So you should be, there's no General answer, <coughs> okay? There are many of the time in the musical database. Slightly so mention about the document database. It's a, uh, actually DynamoDB is based on the key value. Then it can support the document database that is uh, mostly the JSON. So they have the different the uh, data type supported in the uh, JSON, like the string is S, number is N, there is a different name. I'm going to stop the uh, DynamoDB here. There are many other the, uh, the function and the features used in the DynamoDB. <coughs> so if you have a chance to use the DynamoDB, 
it's fun to even the read the, their the, uh, the functionality because the, most of the feature that we mentioned in for the NoSQL database usually is the dynamic. But the, their specific algorithms are slightly different. Today is uh, today's topic, HBase, the schema design. Last week we talked about what is the HBase database, which is actually true. The one of the, uh, the very famous, the NoSQL database, still being used in the real application in industry the, for the uh, non-traditional non non database. So uh, we, I want to slap briefly the summarize the, uh, regarding to the HBAC itself, the while I'm the explaining the, this one, but uh, mostly the, we are going to see the how to design and the, how to model the database for that we double to the HBase. But idea is it's a key value database, as we have seen briefly in the uh, DynamoDB, so we need to find uh, what will be the key, okay? considering our application. Actually, it's much easier, not easier, but much simpler than the relational database. The relational database focuses on normalization, separate, separate. How to separate? So sometimes we need to call, consider the, uh, the key dependence, or the, sometimes we need to consider the multi-valued one. The, we need to consider the, such a dependency a lot, but the, uh, however, the key value the modeling, the database modeling for the key value is uh, we try to combine. Okay, why? Because uh, we we cannot have uh, fully utilize a join operation. So due to the characteristic of the NoSQL database, the, if we allow fully implement a join, it takes a long time. So how to avoid the, such a join? Combine as a model. So denormalization. Okay. Then problem is. Which one will be the key part? Which one will be the value part? And the, what will be the used for the index? Anyway, we need to use the index. So HBase is the key itself is the key index because it's a sorted. But can we have the secondary key like the sort key used in the DynamoDB? So we need to consider such a thing that today. Okay. In your the project history, please think about the uh, try to intentionally the denormalize the, your most if you, your database is uh, the part kind of the key value or the document database think about the normalization then how to normalize we will see the several examples today okay so I don't have to explain the details of the such a the schema design so it's a logical database design that the Logical database design. Logical database design is the design. When we talk about the database design, it's mostly logical database design without using the DBMS. Then, when we create the database, so use the SQL DDL in the relational model, and also HBase, it provides the API. The, the uh, API level, the interface. So, when you create, the, you need to specify the location was the size of the database, and the, that is a physical database design. We are going to focus on the, this logical data model, okay? So traditional way is to find the entity, attribute, and the, their relationship. Then the, we need to normalize for this one. Like the number of entities will be identified the model. Then try to avoid any redundant because of that we can have the relationship. So entity and another entity they are related. Sometimes uh, this the relation can be many to many. At that time if we 
can have the junction table in between table and the so on. So this is a typical example of the, we are going to use the, this to understand the edge basis schema design. Okay, so this is a one of the typical examples. It's a one too many, but the, it's a many too many. So let's see. This is a concert database. So we have the show. The number of show will be the held in one location. Okay, one location, one value has a number of show. So one show may have a number of band. Also, one band can participate in the number of show. It's a many-to-many. -many. So it has both the one-to-many relationship, many-to-many -many relationship. So we are going to use the, this one for understanding. I don't have to explain the, again, the, this is the entity relationship and the number of attribute. Then the idea, we are going to normalize. So eventually, for the physical database design, this the logical database concept converted to the table, column, point, key, and the, uh, the ID, the junction table. So this artificial ID or surrogate key is also important in the relational database. Why? Why? It's the best way, fast way to access a relational database because it's a primary. So. Even though you have the primary kick as a composite, which means combine a number of attributes, it is suggested to create the artificial key, artificial ID for performance issue. Okay, so that is the key. Then the, we can the, convert the many to many. For the database, actually cannot have the DBMS relational database cannot support the many to many directly. No way. Okay. Think about the foreign key. Foreign key is that this department number exists. One of the department. It's a one to many only. So foreign key is one to many. So to, do, to address that, uh, as we learned before, we need to junction table like the, this one. So you already realized the traditional database model is normalized, segment segment and as many at the table as possible. That is nice, better the design. Then we can keep the consistency and uh, several things. Problem, when you access the data, you need to combine, which is a join operation, which is not the, actually the possible fully implement the join operation in NoSQL database because we have the really very large data. Even though you are selected the NoSQL database, claim the my database support the fully indexed or secondary index, but you need to take a look at how they sometimes it's not really the the I mean the join. Join operation is the application side join. It's like the small table, then the whenever we process the key or value and the, just replacing the value. Okay? The reason is that to fully implement the join operation, so this is a thing, I table, S table, we need to join the two tables. Then, do you remember the different types of join in relational database? First one is? Net, in terms of? Not the SQL part. SQL has the left arrow join, natural join, beta join, and so on. But the, in terms of query processing, okay, when a query optimizer DBMS access the data, how they join the two tables. One is nested loop join. Another one is sort merge. And Last one, hash join. That is the theory. So, nested the loop join is what? For each record of R, find the matched one with the join condition. Then, problem, you need to check the all of this, right? So, for each one loop, for each one loop, nested loop join is take some time. So how to address? 
we can make the single loop for join. Single loop join. Single loop join means for each record of R, we can use at that time we need the secondary index. So instead of search loop all of the right hand side as we can use the secondary index for. So for example, if the join condition is D n is equal to D number, for the D number we can use the find merge. That means we can directly find the match one. So then only one loop, it's a single loop join. And sort merge is the sorting the all the data by the DNO, sort the all the data by the D number, then from the top match, that is a sort merge. And the hash, we can use the hash function, apply then the number of hash bucket, then the inside the same hash bucket we can check whether satisfied with the join condition. So, ideal case of the join is a single loop join. This is a brute force, even the relational database does not use. So, single loop, the base on the what? Secondary index. So, think about the uh, NoSQL database or HBase. It's a fully implemented. Secondary index is a very expensive. That is the reason the HBase use a region server. In the region server, it's not in the HDFS. The, instead, we have the uh, the region server, the region server to keep the such an index in case we need. So this is the, the typical the, uh, database, relational database uh, model. Another problem is the scale. So because database is the normalized. If we have the one or two, so we can scale using the partition. But if we need to join three tables, three tables are partition. Then join this one, this one, this one, and the, this one. All different case is a network is overloaded. It's a pool of the network, so it practically is not. So we cannot get the benefit of the scale. So when we join, so we need to. That is a problem of that the index is the main problem in the NoSQL database, especially H base and uh, complex query. So then, the, so we need to consider the denormalization. So these are the quick summary of the. Uh, the HBase architecture that we have discussed. So we can the, uh, scale by the low. So if you remember the by the key, it can be sorted by the HBase store the data by the key. That's the alphabetical order. Okay. So then the, we can the store the one column family to the one region. Okay. One region is the different server, so it can be partitioned by the of column family. So for the all rows for the column list, that is a partition from the region. Okay? So if this is a region server and uh, it's a read only. Once it's a one time write, then read many times. You cannot update. It's not the updatable data. Instead we can we are going to use the memory. So to for the any update or any change in data. Then from time to time, if we have the many changes of the data, fresh, fresh means compactation. We write the, not all the, the regions, not all the partition, instead the, the, if your change is only one server, the one region server will be the, we write. But if you have a lot, you can rewrite all the, uh, the region <laughs> server, so two types. Uh, local the compactation and global compactation. Okay. So, uh, table low, I think that we already discussed about this for the uh, key value. Then the row has the basically each row in the H base, each row is stored as a key value container. It's a data. Types, either not data structure, 
to store the data. So key is the row key. Okay, then the value is the key value container for the row. That's the reason HBase is the uh, key value. Okay. So this is the low key and the value. Okay. Low key and the value. And the inside of column family also key and value format. Key and value, key and value. But their key are different. It's not the column is not specified. Then one more thing is that we have the timestamp, the different version of the data. So when you access a specific value, such as table name, row key, and column family, and column name, and the timestamp. So these are used to access the specific value. Okay. So that is the missing column family part. So by combining a number of group of the column, column family. So column family is not exactly the same as the column name. Even the column itself is not the, actually the column. Okay? That is the reason it's a qualifier. Sometimes it's called the qualifier or the column qualifier, but it's a specified. It's kind of a location of the data. So for example, employee is a table name and the profile. Profile is not column, it's not the schema, semantic meaning. Instead, it's a location where you can store the age that related to the profile and uh, the gender or the education. Such a profile information will be stored at the profile, the group, profile column family. It's a key value for me. Okay. So, this is one of the common mistakes. The column is not really column. It's a, sometimes it's called a qualifier. Okay. So this is the pretty much very basic idea of the HBase data based model. And in terms of the internal data structure, all the byte of the data. Okay. Then the it has the, like the time step to use the long integer. It doesn't have to be the uh, hours, minute, and the so on, it can be just a sequence number. So it's an integer value. Okay, and uh, let's see. So we are going to use the uh, comparing to using the, uh, the cons <coughs> concert, the ER the schema to understand the H base. So first, uh, HBase also has the table. That is the same thing. It's the same as the entity. Then the, we have attribute, but the in the HBase, the attribute is not ordered. It's like the uh, the relational model. Okay. So, but you should be careful to define the such attribute in HBase. For the key, some of them can be used for the key. That key is uh, sorted, so that is the uh, best way, fastest way to access the data. Okay. So in the relational model, we select the primary key, but the H base has the low key. Okay, low key is kind of only primary key, so you should be. This is the most important part in HBase database design. What color, what attribute will be the key, low key? Okay, it's a kind of single most important the access method, like the primary key in relational model. So at that time, don't even the pay attention to a lot for the uniqueness. This is just to find the data very fast. Okay. So that is the low key. So low key design is a key part of the database design. So for the first in HBase, you can just select the URL as the low key under the URL. So we have a number of the attributes, like the name and John and so on. What if the device select the band ID? So you can just use the band ID like the relational model. Relational model, we usually use the band ID because we focus on the uniqueness. Uniqueness and the manner of that, okay? But the, in the uh, HBase design, we can use the 
any other, but uh, you should consider the, what is the best way to access uh, such a band information. Like the URL. So this, the low key is like this one. Sometimes you can combine the band ID as well as the URL. So this is uh, the combined the key. It's called the concatenation. So it can be used for key. What is the benefit? The data will be sorted by the this way. Then you can do the for the specific band, their URL can be range query. Also you can find it. So it depends on your application, your purpose. So yeah. However, if you focus on the specific URL, then the list of the band. So URL first, then followed by the band. That can be used for range query. So all the list of the uh, band for the under the specific URL. In this case, the for the band and the URL. So you can do the the specific query, or the range query, and inequality, and so on. You can, the, when you concatenate the, such a, the number of attributes for the uh, row key, there are some techniques so mentioned here. Mm. Delimiting means, so in case of the so band ID is not fixed one, so to know the where is, what is the, the first attribute? <coughs> what is the second attribute? What is the third attribute? So this is a uh, NoSQL database course in computer science. Oh, uh, 107? I do not know. 107. This is 107, right? Maybe the another one. Uh -huh. So this is a band ID. So how do we know? So if this is a variable length, then at the time you can put the special the character as the uh, del delimiter. So we can use the such a delimiter, and the, or we can use other serialization. The algorithm is used for the uh, to format the data. So you can use the algorithm while documenting the like the JSON, the format for the serialization. Serialization means we have the document data like the dictionary that can be represented by the byte string. Sometimes we can use such a the serialization technique like the Abro the Abro for the compactness. So like the you most of them use the sometimes the what is that? Compress the technique. Okay. So that is the low key. So low key is the most important part when you design the HBase database. Okay, so let's have the 10 minute break, then we will continue the rest